Welcome to Vietnam's coastal resort town of Vung Tau, where the beautiful beaches are an absolute wow, the delicious food will make you want to chow, and it's a place we think you should visit right now. In this video, we're gonna share with you why we think Vung Tau is a great place for a short-term visit, or maybe even a long-term stay, but also a few reasons why you might wanna skip Vung Tau altogether. My name is Ryan, my wife Emily and I are the snail travelers. The ferry. Okay, before we even get into Vung Tau itself, I need to tell you about getting there from Ho Chi Minh City, also known as Saigon, because that is where you will most likely be arriving from. And we think the ferry is a terrific way for you to get between Saigon and Vung Tau. First of all, the ferry terminal is in a very convenient location right on the river in District 1 in Saigon, which is the district that most tourists and expats would be familiar with. And once the ferry gets going down the river, you will be enjoying a nice skyline view of Saigon, and we think that alone is another great reason to take the ferry to Vung Tau. And once you get further down the river, away from the city, you get to the scenic parts of the journey where you can see the forest along the banks of the river. This ferry all the way to Vung Tau takes about two hours and like I said, we think it's the best way for you to get there. And so we give this journey a thumbs up. The Christ Statue. This statue is located in the very southern tip of the peninsula and the massive structure dominates over Vung Tau. But before you come here, there are some things I wanna tell you about. First of all, it is 811 steps to get to the top. That's a lot of climbing, right? Especially if it's hot and sunny. So bring water to stay hydrated or buy refreshments from one of the stands along the way up. We thought we were so clever by looking at Google Maps and seeing that there is a road on the map most of the way up that we thought we might be able to get to in a taxi. But no, this is a narrow dirt road that is only suitable for four-wheel drive trucks. Okay, the next thing you should know, once you make it to the base of the statue, it's then a few hundred more steps inside if you want to go up into the arms of the statue. And let me warn you, going inside is not a good idea if you are claustrophobic. The platform is only big enough for two or three people at a time. You can see the people on the arms there. The best thing about visiting the statue is the view that you're gonna get. We enjoyed our visit to the statue here in Vung Tau and give this experience a thumbs up. The Grand Hotel. We didn't stay at the Grand Hotel because it's an upscale hotel and outside of our budget. But let me tell you why we wanted to come visit this hotel. 57 years ago, my dad was stationed here in Vung Tau during the war and he remembers this hotel as an impressive landmark. So we wanted to come see this place and send pictures to him. I found a picture of what this hotel looked like at the time when my dad was here in 1966. Here's a picture of my dad and a few other photos that he took. We give a thumbs up for our experience visiting the Grand Hotel. Eating at the supermarket. Okay, hear me out please. Most of the restaurants in the resort area are quite expensive by Vietnamese standards. Our solution? We ate some of our meals in the cafeteria at the Lotte grocery store. The cafeteria actually has a pretty wide selection of food and I know it's not gourmet, we're not going to get a fancy pantsy meal with linen napkins and champagne at the grocery store cafeteria. But you know what? We are on a budget and we are quite satisfied with the food here. Just as an example, all of this food you see here is just a tad over 200,000 dong or about nine US dollars. That's pretty reasonable when compared to the touristy restaurants in the area. So we're gonna give the grocery store cafeteria a thumbs up. The beaches. This is why Vung Tau is popular with residents of nearby Saigon, who quite often come here for a short vacation or as a getaway from Vietnam's largest city. There are two main beaches in Vung Tau. The larger one is called Back Beach. The smaller is called Front Beach. We think Back Beach is the better of the two. It's definitely nicer for walking because it stretches for several kilometers along the coastline. 
Front Beach, like I said, is a bit smaller, but still pleasant enough if you are staying in this part of Vung Tau. One thing we think is interesting is the big difference in the water level between high and low tide. Here you see the beach at low tide. You can see how far away the water is from where I'm standing. And now I'm standing in the same spot at high tide and the water is right up close to me. Thumbs up for Vung Tau's beaches. Trash. The garbage collection system in Vung Tau and unfortunately other parts of Vietnam seems to be insufficient. Let's start with the ferry ride I told you about. Sadly, the river is polluted with trash. A lot of old flip-flops, a huge number of plastic water bottles, giant bags of household garbage. We even saw a mattress floating down the river. And of course, this ends up in the ocean and some of it then washes up onto the beaches in Vung Tau. Now, I know I gave the beaches here a thumbs up just a minute ago, and we still think the overall experience at the beach here is great. But yeah, the garbage does detract from the beauty. I do hope the situation improves in the future. The cost of living. So let's talk about the cost of housing first. As I'm sure you can probably guess, apartments and hotels are going to be more expensive the closer you are to the water. We paid about 20 US dollars per night at the Anata Beach Hotel, including a fabulous breakfast, and it was about a five minute walk to Back Beach from our hotel. A one month stay in an Airbnb will be in the 700 to 1000 US dollar range and more like the four to $600 range for a one year lease. Now for food prices, remember that closer to the water, the more expensive rule I told you about for housing. Well, the same applies for food in Vung Tao's restaurants. Go to the local outdoor market and you can get a meal of street food for just $2 or so. Overall, if we were living in Vung Tau, based on our personal lifestyle, we think we could live comfortably here in the 1,000 to 1,200 US dollar range per month. I'll put more information about the cost of living in the description below. So yeah, Vung Tau is not the cheapest by Vietnamese standards, but compared to beach resorts in other parts of the world, prices are quite reasonable. Quick fire categories. Let me quickly go through the rest of our categories, starting with a thumbs up for walkability. Most of the tourist areas in Vang Tau have nice, wide, open sidewalks, and strolling on the walking paths along the coastline is especially pleasant. Airport access gets a thumbs down. It's two or three hours of driving to get to the closest airport, which is in Saigon, and the traffic can be heavy. So if you have an early flight, you'll probably need to overnight in Saigon but traffic within Vung Tau gets a thumbs up. It's pretty orderly and not too heavy compared to some of the horrors you've seen in our other Vietnam videos. Next, we're gonna give a big, giant, enormous, and delicious thumbs up for Donuts Na. And you know they must be good when there is a line of people waiting for a fresh batch to come out of the fryer. And at about one US dollar for a pack of four, you can't beat the price but get lots of napkins ready. And speaking of delicious food, the international food culture here gets a thumbs up. You can find cuisine from many parts of the globe here in Vung Tau. We're gonna give a thumbs up for a visit to the whale temple. You will find whale bones, whale carvings, and other whale items here. Even the pigeons who live in Vung Tau enjoy coming to visit this temple. And finally, the weather. It's all based on your preference, we personally prefer the weather in northern Vietnam a little bit more because it cools off just a little bit in the winter there. Here in Vang Tau, it's hot all year. So there you have it folks. We think Vang Tau is a great place to get away for a few days if you are in the area or are based in Saigon. And we think it's also a place to consider for those of you wanting a chilled long-term location that maybe isn't quite as well known as some of the other beach cities in Vietnam, such as Da Nang or Nha Trong. As always, check out the playlist you see on the screen there for more destinations around the world. And do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for traveling with us.